A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. This is Big Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. You just look at the guys, look at your friend's scared face before you look at- Oh, that's a big hand. Yeah. Holy shit. Jenkins is super dead. Oh shit. You really killed that ghost. Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. You the one in charge here, sir? The Geth overwhelmed us. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? The age of humanity is over. Our extinction is inevitable. Say goodnight, Manuel. The darkness is coming. The end is near. You can't... Got him. <laughs> oh my god. Oh no, it's him. It's him. Saren. Saren. Oh, you beautiful man. I love Linus. you. Don't worry. I've got it under control. Yeah, you do, Saren. Because Saren, you're awesome, and everyone loves you. That was a gunshot. Don't fuck this up, Ashley. We identified the ship that touched down on Eden Prime, the Normandy, a human alliance vessel. It was under the command of Captain Anderson. They managed to save the colony. And the beacon. One of the humans may have used it. I like how the ships were like, oh fuck, he's angry. I think he's waking up. The egg isn't dead. You had us worried there, Shepard. How are you feeling? Like the morning after Shorely. How long was I out? About 15 hours. Something happened down there with the beacon, I think. It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security yeah, field when I approached fault. it. You had to push me out of the way. I expect better of my people, Williams. You endangered our entire mission. <laughs> and my glorious face. Don't be so hard on her, Commander. I'll be hard on you, we Commander Chekwis. We have no idea if that's what actually set it off. Unfortunately, we'll never get the chance to find out. The beacon exploded. A system overload, maybe. The blast knocked you cold. The lieutenant and I carried you back here to the ship. I don't suppose it occurred to you that Eden Prime has medical facilities? Listen, you're better you're off such in this infirmary dick, than Bubbis. in any hospital on Eden Prime. Physically, you're fine. But I detected some unusual brain activity. Abnormal beta waves. I also noticed an increase in your rapid eye movement. Signs typically associated with intense dreaming. I saw... I'm not sure no, don't look I at me like that. Death? Destruction? Nothing's really clear. Hmm. I better add this to my report. It may... Oh. Captain Anderson. How's our XO holding up, Doctor? Well, all the readings look normal. I'd say the command is going to be fine. Glad to hear it. Shepard, I need to speak with you. In private. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll be in the mess if you need me. 
your whole life is a mess. <laughs> Sounds like that beacon is pretty hard, Commander. Are you sure you're okay? Intel dropped the ball, sir. We had no idea what we were walking into down there. That's why things went to hell. The Geth haven't been outside the Vale in two centuries, Commander. Nobody could have predicted this. Intel dropped the ball, sir. We had no idea what we were walking into down there. That's why things went to hell. The Geth haven't been outside the Vale in two centuries, Commander. Nobody could have predicted this. Intel dropped the ball, sir. We had no idea what we were walking into down there. You have That's no why idea how much this is tickling me. haven't been outside the Vale in two centuries, okay, Commander. No. Intel dropped the ball. <laughs> I didn't Intel mean to... Intel no. dropped the ball. <laughs> <laughs> been outside the Vale in two centuries, Commander. Okay. You said you needed to see me in private, Captain? I won't lie to you, Shepard. Things look bad. Nihilus is dead. The beacon was destroyed and Geth are invading. The Council's going to want answers. The Council can kiss my ass. I won't let them blame me for losing the beacon. I didn't do anything wrong. I'll stand behind you and your report, Shepard. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. It's Saren. That other tourist. Saren! Saren's a specter. One of the best. A living legend. But if he's working with the Gith, it means he's gone rogue. Saren would never do that. He's a wonderful a man. specter's trouble. Saren's dangerous. And he hates humans. Why? He thinks we're growing too fast, taking over the galaxy. A lot of aliens think that way. Most of them don't do anything about it. But Saren has allied himself with the Geth. I don't know how. I don't know why. I only know it had something to do with that beacon. You were there just before that beacon self-destructed. Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? Just before I lost consciousness. I had some kind of vision. I had some kind of vision. It's your horrible face. A vision? A vision of what? I saw synthetics. Geth, maybe. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. We need to report this to the Council, Shepard. They'll think I'm crazy. We don't know what information was stored in that beacon. Lost Prothean technology? Blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction? Whatever it was. Saren took it. But I know Saren. I know his reputation, his politics. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. This attack was an act of war. He has the secrets from the beacon. He has an army of Geth at his command, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. I'll find some way to take him down. It's not that easy. He's a specter. He can go anywhere, do almost anything. That's why we need the Council on our side. When have they ever done anything for humanity? If we expose Bobis is so angry. The All the council time. will revoke his Spectre status. I'll contact the Ambassador and see if he can get us an audience with the Council. He'll want to see us as soon as we reach the Citadel. We should be getting close. Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. Don't... Why... Can't you call him? Don't you have a pager? Page device like, hey, a jokester, a McDoster. Why don't you take us in the dock? Sweet dock, Dr. Chakwas has a shitty office. There's little boxes everywhere. Garbo. We can matrix tubes. Metagel dispensers. Yum yum. Commander. Hey, Commander. Oh, you're not Commander. I'm Commander. Bobbish. After what happened to Jenkins, the crew could use some good news. They'll be glad to hear you're okay. Why are you on my ship? To this ship? Captain Anderson had me transferred to his command. Must have figured I knew what I was doing. She said that's such, it's like, so douche. She's like, Commander Anderson, his... You have a problem with me, Chief? You questioned my competence through the entire mission. Best way to stop that is to show me you're competent. But Walk. I don't remember inviting you to come back to the ship with us. You didn't. Captain Anderson did. I need to go speak with Joker. Goodbye, Commander. We're gonna make passionate love later. Glad to see you're okay, Commander. You know what, Caden? That's what I need for my soldiers. I don't need some attitude. I need I need my guys to be like, hey, Commander. I saw you got hurt. I'm glad you're fine. I'm glad you're okay. Thank you, Caden. Glad to see you're okay, Commander. I'm glad to see you're still as, uh...
Cadeny as ever. Check yes, Commander. Is there something you need? Tell me about your life. How did you end up serving on an Alliance ship? I enlisted right out of med school. Earth always seemed boring to me. Too safe. Too secure. I figured the colonies would How old are you? Exotic adventure. I wanted to travel the stars, tending the wounds of tough soldiers with piercing eyes and sensitive souls. <laughs> Turns out military life isn't quite as romantic as I'd imagined. But humanity needs the Alliance if we want to keep expanding through the Traverse. And the Alliance always needs good doctors. So I stayed on to do my part. It's like she lo her hair looks like she's kind of got old lady hair. And her voice kind of sounds like an old lady, but her face is not old lady. Ever think you made the wrong choice? Sometimes I think about opening a private practice back on Earth. Or maybe taking a position at one of the new med centers out in the colonies. But there's something special about working on soldiers. If I left the Alliance now, I'd feel like I was abandoning them. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. Bye. Who are these people? What you talking about? Oh, I remember that lady. She's super dead in Mass Effect 2. Spoilers. Oh, that's actually really cool. Because in Mass Effect 2, you see all these people again. You see all the randos. I'm not going to take your stupid elevator to Nowhereville. And go up the door. Up the door. Cool. Thanks for that. I'm glad you're okay, Commander. Losing Thank you. Hard Thank you. Thank you. You too, Presley. We egg boys, we gotta stay together. Egg boys for life. Good timing, Commander. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. Oh. I guess we're going to the Citadel now. Surprise! <gasps> There's a big flower over there. Bumps like flowers. Well. Then we'll find a more deplorable hive of scum and villainy. The Ascension, flagship of the Citadel fleet. Well, size isn't everything. Why so touchy, Joker? Because I have a bigger dick. I didn't mean like that. Look at that monster. Its main gun could rip through the barriers in any ship in the Alliance fleet. Good thing it's on our side, then. Citadel Control, this is SSV Normandy, requesting permission to land. The super sexy vehicle, Normandy. That's what SSV stands for. Press zero. Let's take it the operator. Normandy, this is Alliance Tower. Please proceed to dock four two two. Wow, I bet nothing bad will happen when we're here. SR one stands for super rad one. Look at that, it's like the sky, but it's bendy. This is an outrage! The Council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony! Don't be racist. The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Gotcha. Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Seren? You can't just ignore a rogue specter. I demand action! You don't get to make demands of the Council, Ambassador. Get put down. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Seren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. Captain Anderson, I see you brought half your crew with you. Just the ground team <laughs> from Eden Prime. <laughs> you did bring In a lot of people. Any questions. I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate? They are. Sounds like you've been to forgot to the few details. They were not happy about it. Seren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. They're a bunch I'm of bureaucratic ass assholes. Because the council doesn't want to do anything. If they won't stop Saren, I will. 
Settle down, Bobby Commander. Bobby's kind you piece for smacked him. Enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the He's got a right of its own. The mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. That's Nihilus' That's fault. fault, not his. Then we better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Otherwise, the Council might use this as an excuse to keep you out of the specters. But I want to be a ghost. Come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. Shepard, you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. And that's why I hate politicians. Because they sort of glitch out mid-sentence mid and, like, teleport away. I hate it when people do that to me, too. I'm gonna hack into his terminal, though. Terminal. 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 I'm a real human boy who can speak real human language. Captain Hendrickson, Jimmy Hendrickson. That's not a name. Jimmy Hendrix. There's no, there's no on in there. Report it. Uh, there's also an X. Never mind. Report it is some unusual energy readings in a patrol in the Argos Row cluster. She was particularly concerned about the Hydra system, Hail Hydra, but was recalled before her team could investigate further. No patrols are scheduled for that sector. Do we want to send in a recon team? Okay. Did I just approve that? I know in Mass Effect 3 you can just approve random shit on a terminal. But I guess maybe I didn't. You know what? I'm going to come back here later. Because I have insider knowledge. And by insider knowledge, I mean I've played this game like three times probably yeah three times and I know you don't want to come you don't want to do many of the Citadel things this early you kind of want to wait a little bit hello Avina greetings and welcome to the Presidium my name is Avina and I am pleased to be your virtual guide throughout this level of the Citadel space station are you or are you so are you a person or a program I am a fully interactive virtual intelligence Program to provide spontaneous guidance at predetermined locations of interest throughout this level of the Citadel. That's really interesting. I may also be contacted through any of the Presidium VI terminals, should you require assistance. Wow, I'm really proud of you. I'll pass. Bubbish doesn't need your shit. I apologize if you found my Get away, Bubbish doesn't want to talk to you. Please submit These arrows will help me. To the Citadel tourist arrows. Arrows. Have a nice day. Arrows. What is that? I don't want to go there. Wait, can I use that to get to the tower? Yeah, I can. But I'm going to walk there instead. And explore. Look at all these people. Hello. 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 Bubbies would like to know what you're talking about. You're talking about Bubbies? He's really cool. Have you guys ever met Commander Shepard? He's a really cool guy. When you better acknowledge you're going to start shooting people. Does no one care? Do you care about Bubbis? Don't you run from me. I'll kill you. And your whole family too. Wait, is this just an LTA hour? No, this is, uh, this is the Kara word. Yeah, the wards. I don't care about the wards. It's where all the poor people live. I'm Commander Sh Bubbis Shepherd, man. I don't give a shit. Don't. That's an Ardok Yakshi. She'll suck your soul out through your dick. That's what happens. That's not even a joke. I'm trying to speak to him. Hello, sir. How are you? Please do not disturb the keepers. May I speak to you, sir? Please do not disturb the keepers. Are you a praying mantis? You remind me of that guy from Spirited Away with all the drawers full of like leaves and shit. Hey, look. Oh my god, I never noticed this before. Remember this, boyos. This is a plot thing. This is a plot device later on. Right now, it's just a cool statue, though. See, it looks like a Mass Effect relay. But it's not. The Citadel Tower. The lighting in here is really, really bright. Except on one side. Yeah, there's gonna be some fun stuff happening in this game, by the way. Like, there's a... On one of the later planets... All of... Every single thing that has shadows on it is just a black box. So it's gonna be great. I don't care what you're saying, Caden. Get out of my life. Both of you. I don't like you. 
You both suck. <laughs> like, I honestly don't like either of these people very much. Why is this el- oh yeah. Elevator so long so it can like run on consoles and stuff. Cause they need that much time to load this one room. <laughs> PC Master Race. Oh well, this place is so pretty. <gasps> oh! Oh, there he is! Ashley! Ashley, how's my hair look? How's my hair look? I don't have any. How's my beard? Is my chin's pointy enough? Can I cut cheese with my cheekbones? Alright, good. Bob, is just you? Hello. Saren's hiding something. Hello, Gary. We kill you. Stall them. Stall the council. Don't be ridiculous. You're They're a bunch of bureaucrats. They already stall themselves. <laughs> I'm taking you off the force, Garrus. Commander, your wild card. I was the officer in charge of the C-Sec investigation into Saren. Come across anything I should know about? Saren's a spectre. Most of his activities are classified. Uh, Couldn't find anything solid. I love you, Garrus. I know he's up to something. Like stroking his face. I'm stroking stroke the monitor right now. I think the council's ready for us, Commander. I accidentally touched Good Bubbis, and now I have to burn my hand. Listen to you. I wasn't listening, Garrus. I'm sorry. I was gonna be a dick to you, but then I I love you too much, man. I just chose a neutral option. There you go. Give you pick a peck on the the peck. The Turians have pectoral muscles. I don't know. Maybe they don't. That's why they have such big back things. Like they're like hunched over. I don't know how muscles work, by the way. <laughs> Look at this guy. He's like a pimp. He looks like he's waiting for me. It's like, hello, how are you? Also, this bench is stupid. Just like, hello, I would like to sit next to you. Um, I'll just sort of sit here. I mean, this thing is wide enough. I'll just sit here. Okay, I'll sit on this side. Let me just glitch into the side of it. This is... Okay. Sorry about that. I like these trees. Racist. You think me, the humans and the Volus are even on the same the playing field? Uh, that I know what all of those people are. You'll meet, we'll meet. We'll meet some of them later. But you'll 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 get the joke. You actually won't get the joke because you'll probably forget about that. Hello, Commander Anderson. It's not important. That's why I'll forget Dreams about already it. Started. Come on. They started without the key wetness. Okay. <laughs> the key wetness is what I said. Um. The Geth attack is a matter of some concern. I got Saren. You're so big. To indicate Saren was involved in any way. The investigation by Citadel Security turned up no evidence to support your charge of treason. An eyewitness saw him kill Nihilus in cold blood. We've read the Eden Prime reports, Ambassador. The testimony of one traumatized dock worker is hardly compelling proof. I resent these accusations. Nihilus was oh my god, your voice sounds even cooler. That just let Nihilus you had my babies. Guard. Captain Anderson. You always seem to be involved when humanity makes false charges against me. And this must be your protege. That's a lot of, Shepherd, a lot of apostrophes. The one who let the beacon get destroyed. Edward protege. You're the one who destroyed the beacon. Then you tried to cover it up. <laughs> when I look angry, my eyes just disappear. Fingers. Just like Captain Anderson. He's taught you well. But what can you expect from a human? You can expect me to kill you the next time we meet. Oh, that your species needs <laughs> That's to That's probably not a good thing to say, in Court. You're not ready to join the council. You're not even ready to join the Spectres. He has no right to say that. That's not his decision. Shepard's admission into the Spectres is not the purpose of this meeting. This meeting has no purpose. The humans are wasting your time, counselor, and mine. You can't hide behind the council forever. There is still one outstanding issue. Commander Shepard's vision. It may have been triggered by the beacon. Are we allowing dreams into evidence now? You're such an I asshole, Saren, but I love you anyway. This kind of testimony. I agree. Our judgment must be based on facts and evidence, not wild imaginings and reckless speculation. That's fair. Do you have anything else to add, Commander Shepard? You've made your decision. 
I won't waste my. Oh my god, his eyes are so pretty, but the rest of him is so gross. That's weird. Council I didn't mean to say it like that. No evidence of any connection between Saren and the Geth. Ambassador, your petition to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. I'm glad to see justice was served. I'll rip off those little mandible things. This meeting is adjourned. <laughs> I go from saying I love Saren to threatening him. That's how Bubba's do. He's a lover and a fighter. It was a mistake bringing you into that hearing, Captain. You and Saren have too much history. It made the Council question our motives. I know Saren. He's working with the Geth for one reason. To exterminate the entire human race. A little bold Every there. Every colony we have is at risk. Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. We need to deal with Saren ourselves. Renegade. As a specter, he's virtually untouchable. Except with a we bullet. We need to find some way to expose him. What about Garrus, that CSEC investigator? We saw him arguing with the executor. That's right. He was asking for more time to finish his report. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. Any idea where we could find him? I have a contact in CSEC who can help us track Garrus down. His name is Harkin. Forget it. They suspended Harkin last month, drinking on the job. I won't waste my time with that loser. You won't have to. I don't want the council using your past history. You're off the Sarah case, Captain Anderson. Ignore anything we turn up. Shepard will handle this. I'll take care of it. I need to take care of some business. Captain, meet me in my office later. Harkin's probably getting drunk at Cora's Den. It's a dingy little club in the lower section of the wards. Maybe there's another way to find evidence against Saren. You should talk to Barla Vaughn over in the financial district. Rumor has it he's an agent for the Shadow Broker. The Shadow Broker? The Shadow Broker. An information dealer. Buys and sells secrets to the highest bidder. I've heard Barla Vaughn's one of the top representatives. He might know something about Saren. But his information won't come cheap. You know, I honestly don't care about your relation to Saren. Actually, I'll tell us. You and Saren have a history. What happened? About 20 years ago, I was part of a mission in the Skillian Verge. I was working with Saren to find and remove a known terrorist threat. Saren eliminated his target, but a lot of people died along the way, innocent people. And the official records just covered it all up. But I saw how he operates. No conscience, no hesitation. He'd kill a thousand innocent civilians to end a war without a second thought. Sometimes a thousand people must die so a million can live. But only if there's no other way. Saren doesn't even look for another option. He's twisted, broken. He likes the violence, the killing. And he knows how to cover his tracks. Sometimes a thousand <laughs> people must die so a million can live. <laughs> but only if okay. there's no other Sometimes way. Sometimes a thousand No, it's okay. Sometimes but a thousand there you go. Okay. No I should go. Good luck, Shepard. I just skipped it. He just said good luck, Shepard, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> okay. Uh, just gonna keep running around, having a good time. That guy's up to something. What guy? That guy. What? Oh no, I wasn't. Never mind. Um. Yes. Is there something you want? I'm going. So long. See, 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 uh, this is the most legitimate guy we've ever met in this game. He's just like, do, do you need something? And I'm like, no. I was like, okay, bye. Oh, I love you, Chorban. I, I know you, I think you're evil. I remember shooting you in my last playthrough, but I don't, I don't remember the circumstances, so I love you right now. I think I shot him. I don't remember. I shot a lot of people. Even though I was playing Paragon. Cause that's just how this game is. You shoot a million dudes. But it only matters if you if you get the option to spare them. It's like, well, you theoretically could do something good. So it's evil to do otherwise. And that's just science. So I've never actually done this. You know how you said, oh, you gotta go talk to Bar Levon. He's an agent of the Shadow Broker. The Shadow Broker. The Shadow Broker. You're saying, hmm, because you know about the plot significance of this later on hey dude you just chilling yeah just chilling like a villain but i've never gone to talked about uh about sarah navarlovan i've just talked to him like once 
And he was like, I'll be your friend. And I'm like, no, thank you. Because he's shady as AF. He's shady AF. As kids these days would say. Is his little hole. Here's Balavon. Hello, Balavon. One of the Earth Clan. Ah, a very famous one, yes? See, you know about you Bubbis. called Shepherd. Bubbis? You were at Torfin, correct? You led the final assault against the enemy base, if memory serves. You've got me at a disadvantage here. Forgive me, Earth Clan. My name is Barlavan. My job makes it necessary for me to keep informed. I am a financial advisor to many important clients here on the Citadel. You're also when super low res for some reason. Arrives on the station, I take notice. I've heard you work for the Shadow Broker. Do you have any information about Saren? You're very blunt, Shepard. But you're right. I am an agent for the Shadow Broker. And I do know something about Saren. I need that information. Now. Threats don't work on me, Commander. This information is worth a small fortune. But this is an unusual situation. So I am going to let you have it for free. What's the catch? There is no catch. The Shadow Broker is quite upset with Saren right now. Oh, your thing, your thing was clipping through your chest right there, buddy. My Saren wife. turned on him. Saren betrayed him. Imagine that. No matter what you think of Saren, he's not stupid. He knows the Shadow Broker is a valuable ally. Turning on him doesn't make sense. Not unless something huge was at stake. I don't know the details, but the Shadow Broker hired a freelancer to deal with it. A Krogan mercenary. How do I find him? I heard he was paying Citadel Security a visit. If you hurry, you can probably catch him before he leaves the CSEC Academy. Isn't it strange that a Krogan would want to speak with CSEC? Very. However, I doubt the visit was entirely his choice. You'll need to speak with him if you want to know more. Thanks for the info. My pleasure, Commander. Oh, that's that's super cool because I never I never came to talk to him before Bef you know like like before I, I actually went to Garrus and everything so that's and he tells you about uh, Rex I think it's Rex yeah Rex um, wait I want to go to yeah okay Hold on. So wait, we have Garrus, Rex, and Harkin all. Okay. I'm gonna go to, to the C sec first because there's two people there. But yeah, spoilers: the Krogan guy is is, is uh is there. And normally I never saw him. It's a Hanar. That Hanar refuses to listen to reason. Why can't it act in an orderly and lawful manner? Because it's a big, stupid jellyfish. Please, elevator, come. Okay, thank you. Get an elevator. All right, teleport in. Good. Bubbis. Bubbis does see what he do. Bubbis is here and ready to punch the people in the face with his fists. That's what Bubbis does. So, Williams, are you happy you signed on with Commander Shepard? I'm not sure yeah, just talk about it right behind Every my back. Every time I think I have a handle on things, the universe banks hard to port. Well, I'll don't bank your port know. hard. A big gun and a confident attitude will get you through a lot in life. That's my fallacy. Fallacy? Philosophy. That's the word. Bubba's just is too good at English. He took a lot of blows to the head. That's why he doesn't have any hair. All of his hair nerves exploded. <laughs> it wasn't fun. <laughs> Here we are in CSEC Academy. There's Rex. Witnesses saw you making threats in Fist's bar. Stay away from him. I don't take orders from you. This is your only warning, Rex. You should warn Fist. I will kill him. You want me to arrest you? I want you to try.
Go on. Get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, yeah, you're leaving. Please think good. Please think good. I'm trying to bring down Saren. Barlavon said to talk to you. Barlavon is a wise man. We may share a common goal, human. Spit it out. Or are you trying to build suspense? <laughs> I like you, Shepard. I like you too, big I've been fish hired man. To kill the owner of Korra's den, a man named Fist. He did something very foolish. He betrayed the Shadow Broker. A Quarian showed up here on the Citadel. She was on the run. She wanted to trade information for a safe place to hide, so she went to Fist. He promised to arrange a meeting between her and the Shadow Broker. Instead, he contacted Saren. Fist not too smart. He's just greedy. Saren paid him a small fortune for the Quarian. He had to. She has evidence connecting him to the Geth. If we get our hands on that evidence, we can prove that Saren's a traitor. And the Council will have to listen to us. Where's the Quarian now? Last I heard, Fist still had her. Probably somewhere inside his club. You help me kill Fist, she's all yours. Time we paid Fist a visit. What about Garrus, that Turian? He wants to take Saren down too. Oh, we definitely need him. He was here just before you showed up. Said he was going to follow up a lead on his investigation. Wanted to speak to the doctor at the med clinic. Move out. 